All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the PPSSPP emulator on the Nintendo Switch. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is to play the PSP games. I'm going to be leaving you two links in the pinned comment of this video. So the first link is going to be for my page. So just scroll down on the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be one link for the emulator download page. You're going to need to download the folder and unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. You're going to need to create a ROMs folder for your PSP games. All games must be in .ISO format. Now we're going to go over to the emulator download page. You're going to scroll down on the page until you find the download PPSSPP 1.9.3 plus. You're going to download the folder. So now this is going to be the emulator folder. This is going to have a switch folder with the NRO. Now you're going to take your ROMs folder with your games and you're going to drag it onto the root just like that. So now just select all the folders and then copy them to your Nintendo Switch's SD card. So that's basically it on the computer. Now we're going to get over on the Nintendo Switch. I'll show you guys a little bit of the emulator and a few settings that you need to change and a little bit of gameplay. All right, guys, now over on the Switch. So first thing we're going to check is if the NRO is installed. So go over to Album, start it up, scroll over. So there's the emulator. Uh, now we're going to go back. Now this is going to need to run in uh, full RAM mode. So to do that, you're going to hit the R button while loading a game or an application. Just like that. Now we are running in full RAM mode. Now we're going to load up the emulator. So you're going to load up the um, GLES2. A to start it. Now this is going to populate your games once you find the ROMs folder. Now the two settings you're going to need to change. Go over to settings. Now the B button is going to be the X button. You're going to go over to graphics. You're going to go to frame skipping. This is going to be at zero. Make sure you change it to one. And then go over to controls. Control mapping. We are going to look for the pause button. You're going to need to remap it. What this is going to do is to allow you to exit a game and then take you back to the emulator main menu. So make sure you uh, do the hotkeys. Now let's go back. Now go back. Now we're going to load up a game. Now I do not have a compatibility list. Uh, but all the games that I've tested, I've been working pretty good now we're going to try to exit so you're going to, you're going to press uh, your hotkeys there you go now you can do your save states uh, or you can exit the menu so exit the menu you're going to load another game Just gonna show you a little bit of gameplay. Uh, so this uses the full uh, screen mode. And there you go. Seems to be running pretty good. 
Now we're going to go back, hit the two hotkeys, uh, exit to the main menu, and there you go guys. That's how you install the PPSSPP emulator on the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.